Is Duskers the most annoying and crappiest text adventure you've ever played? Or a novel, innovative twist on space exploration that will demand the command of all your senses and sensibilities? Watch on and find out. My name is Thorax, and this is Strategy for Busy People. If you've got a few minutes, I'll tell you what to play. Duskers by Misfits Attic is somewhat hard to classify, but that didn't mean I wasn't going to take a crack at it. I've got about 10 hours in this game. You know that 10 hours is a good stretch on SBP. The reality is that I actually went back to play this game again. Initially, it wasn't because I loved it, but because I'm a giant dummy and somehow deleted the original recordings of my first playthrough. In that first playthrough, I got extremely frustrated and definitively table-flipped my way out of the game. It's actually fortunate that I was forced to give it another run. Why is it fortunate? Because, despite table-flipping my way out of the game a second time, I gained a much deeper appreciation for it. But what the hell is it, exactly? Well, it's got a little bit of exploration going on. It's definitely got some roguelike elements. There's a literal mystery to unravel. It takes place in space and involves the salvage of derelicts. There's combat with unknown forces. There's RPG-like inventory management and upgrading of your ships and drones. There are literal programming activities and command line interfaces. There's drone piloting. So I guess that makes Duskers a roguelike space exploration drone salvage simulator adventure mystery RPG game. That's what I'm going with, and I don't really care what you think. You can argue about it with me in the comments. But does it suck? Well, it depends on if you like rogues, space exploration, salvage, mysteries, or adventures. Duskers takes place in some far future in a universe that happens to have been devastated by some unknown circumstances and or forces. You start out piloting a lonely ship with some drones, and you navigate and explore the galaxy, boarding and salvaging. You pilot the drones through a combination of text commands and keyboard commands. You have a local drone access view as well as a quote-unquote commander type view. As you navigate these derelicts, various perils await you, from enemy drones to unknown alienish forces to asteroids, ship disintegration, and more. Pretty much everything is trying to kill you, and until you encounter something, you have no idea how it's going to happen. Those are the rogue and space exploration parts. The adventure mystery part is that as you navigate through space and board these derelicts, you can uncover various bits and pieces of conversations and communications that provide clues to what exactly happened to the galaxy. The salvage part is somewhat obvious. As you board and explore these derelicts, you can pick up scrap metal, fuel, other drones, and ship and drone upgrade parts. Your drones have limited equipment capacity, and deciding what to outfit them with as you go about your business is, pun intended, mission critical. On my first playthrough, I felt that the drops were way too few, and that the game was simply entirely too hard. On my second playthrough, I made the game a little easier by increasing the drop rate and delaying the incidence of the nastier enemy types. I got into one of the other galaxies, which I didn't even realize you could travel to the first time. I boarded a ship, and then somehow ended up with a swarm of things in my boarding vessel with two live drones on the derelict that I couldn't retrieve, and two dead drones in the boarding ship. That was my rage quit moment. Despite all of that frustration, this game is cool, and the frustration is sort of good? This is how rogues go. You're supposed to learn things as you play, and those frustrating moments are always learning opportunities. For example, I learned, via a post on Reddit or something, that sound is really important in this game. Play with headphones. Crank up the volume. When you are directly controlling a drone in the drone view, you hear what the drone hears. The derelicts make all kinds of sounds, as do the baddies. Supposedly, you can learn what the different sounds mean. I never got around to that. Ultimately, what it all means is that you have to be extremely conservative, 
constantly second guess yourself, leave your boarding mission before you think you should, and be scared all the time. If that sounds fun to you, then this game is absolutely going to be your jam. The ability to direct drones via a command line text interface as a computer nerd was super amazingly fun. That probably tells you a lot about me. Before I give my final verdict, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share with your friends. Agree with me, disagree with me, or want to see other content? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to support me in making more of these videos, become a patron on Patreon. Your support really makes a difference. The Final Verdict This game almost defies classification, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually really good, despite wanting to make you pull your hair out and smash the monitor off the desk with your keyboard, and then hide from the monsters. On my trademark three-point score scale of avoid, meh, and I forgot to eat, I'm too scared to eat. I'm always looking over my shoulder, second-guessing whether or not to open a door. I've got the volume on the headphones turned up to threeve, and I'm ready to jump out of my skin. That was awesome. But I still quit. <laughs>